Hey guys! Not everyone is able to spend all his time at the beach or even go to a place with a beach. That's why I decided to show you three easy canvas ideas that will bring the summer feeling straight into your home. I will show you how to make a heart that is painted into sand and how to make a beach and shell canvas. These ideas are super easy to make. You will only need some canvases, acrylic paint, a brush, sand, polymer clay and some shells. To create the hard canvas, first cover a canvas of your choice with liquid glue. I started by adding glue to the front side and by distributing it evenly. Don't worry, I will cover the other sides and edges a bit later. Make sure you add enough glue to create a slightly thick layer. Then place the canvas onto some paper and pour sand over the canvas. If you notice that you still have missed some areas, you can just add a little bit more glue and repeat the step. Then take a white pencil or any thick pencil you have and start drawing a heart shape into the sand. Since the sand is still wet, you can take your time creating the heart. You can make the heart as big as you want. You don't even have to draw a heart, maybe you want to write a message instead or draw something else. Then go ahead and add some glue to the other sides of the canvas and cover them up with sand as well. You can use the paper to help reach any edge that you might have missed. Then you just need to let it dry. In the meantime, you can go ahead and make a small starfish. For this step, I used some polymer clay that I shaped into a small thin circle. To shape the starfish, I cut in the circle to create 5 sea star arms. At first, I cut in the shape of a cross and removed the triangles. Then I just repeated the step until I had 5 arms. If you find that the shape is too big, you can shorten the arms by cutting off the excess length. After that, go ahead and form the starfish arms into small triangles and you should get a shape that looks similar to my decorative starfish. Then you can add some texture with a toothbrush or a knife if you like and the polymer clay starfish is ready to be baked. After baking, you can go ahead and paint the starfish. For this step, I used brown, yellow and white acrylic paint. While everything is drying, we can go back to the canvas and paint the sand by using a nice yellow color. I just mix different kinds of yellow and brown colored acrylic paint to make the sand look bright and vibrant. Make sure you cover up the whole canvas with paint. Since I wanted to make the heart look more obvious, I painted it with a darker shade of yellow. Then just let everything dry completely. As soon as everything is dry, you can attach the starfish with some hot glue and the first canvas is finished. To create the second canvas, cover the upper part of the canvas with blue acrylic paint. For this step, I tried to recreate the movement of the ocean. And don't forget to paint the edges and sides of the canvas as well. While the paint is drying, we can go ahead and create some polymer clay shells. If you already have some small shells, you can skip this step. In order to create small shells, I press thin lines into a thin circle of polymer clay. For this step, press the lines into the clay so the lines meet at one end. If you have that, press this end a little bit to create a small triangle shape. Then with a polymer clay knife or a toothpick, press in the clay at the lines you just created. This way we make the shell look a bit more realistic. Then go ahead and bake the clay. In the meantime, add some liquid glue to the white space on the canvas and distribute it evenly. Make sure you cover up every white spot. After that, Pour some sand on top, remove the excess sand and let the canvas dry again. When the sand is dry, we can go ahead and paint it with some yellow acrylic paint as well and let it dry. This is optional, but if you like to create a 3D wave, you can use a hot glue gun and paint on some random waves onto the canvas. Add the glue while the sand and the water meet each other. Since the glue cools down very quickly, you can already start painting on the glue with some white acrylic paint. I also added random brush strokes to the ocean to make it look more realistic. If you have that, you can go ahead and glue on the shells. And you're done! To create the third and last canvas, cover up the whole canvas with blue acrylic paint. Let it dry and then we can go ahead and add some brown mesh ribbon. Place the ribbon to the lower part of the canvas and make sure that you have enough ribbon on each side. Then add some hot glue to the back side of the canvas and attach the ribbon by folding it over. Repeat the step with the other sides and cut off the excess ribbon if necessary. Then you should get something like this. 
Now we just need to add some shells to the canvas by using hot glue. You can place the shells however you like. This is optional, but you can also add some hot glue above the ribbon and then pour some sand on top. This kind of looks like a wave or just a part of the beach. I also added the word relax, but you can write anything you like. And you are done! I hope you liked these ideas and found them helpful. If you did, don't forget to like this video to support this channel and to subscribe if you haven't already to see more fun and easy DIYs in the future. Have a wonderful day everyone and see you soon!